What's up, Culture Drop? Your pal Galen here, and uh, this video's topic is about gossip. Stop it. Gossip. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> This topic is for everybody. This is a work topic. This is for your personal life. This is for organizations and like for you as a human being. They're like, gossip is so cancerous. It is so incredibly toxic. Organizations need to create a zero tolerance policy for it. And I also think that you as an individual need to create a zero tolerance policy for friendships, for human relationships at work. And it is such a low integrity behavior. It's terrible for friendships, it's terrible for families. It is something that for some reason people love to do. Some people like thrive on it, they're addicted to it. Some friendships are solely based on people like trashing other people and gossiping about other people. It's not a good look. Here's a point I also would like to make about gossip because you might be listening to this to be like, well, I'm not somebody who gossips. I would challenge that to say, you might not be somebody who like spreads gossip intentionally, but are you an audience to gossip? Because to me, it is exactly the same thing. Whether you are the person who is saying like, here's this dirt on this person, or like, guess what this wife cheated on him, or like, this person's going through that, or guess what someone said about someone else. To be an audience to that is to participate in gossip. One person's like, oh, guess what happened here? And you're like, don't wanna hear it, it's none of my business. Gossip does not take place. To listen, to be an audience, to be like a conductor of gossip is also to participate in gossip. And I think it's important to like understand and be aware of. Um, you might not be the one going and spreading it, but to listen to it is like, you're participating. So how can you stop doing this? Because it is hard to do. And like me personally, Galen, like have I gossiped about people? Have I participated in gossip in my life? Absolutely, yes. And this is a very, very hard thing to stop doing because it's just a way that we bond with other people. It's just a negative, like toxic behavior. So here's how you can stop yourself and sort of like start to create language and change your own behavior and habits around gossip. And I think this is the most important question to ask. If this person, or to overhear this conversation, or to hear me saying this about them, would I be proud of that? Would I say this if this person were, were in the room or they were overhearing me? Like, would I feel proud about that? If the answer to that question is no, and it's probably not, because you know if you're gossiping about somebody, like, don't do it, shut it. Like, it is not necessary to spread or to listen to whatever is being told if you wouldn't feel proud that that person, like, were in on that conversation. So building on that, here are three things that you can do, three actionable kind of like steps that you can take if you want to be the kind of person to like change this behavior and remove gossip, or participating in gossip in your life, which I think is very positive to do. Number one, ask yourself if somebody comes to you, guess what I heard, or like they want to share some gossip with you about somebody else. Ask yourself, um, like, Referring back to that sort of question, would I be proud of that other person overhearing this conversation? Would I be proud uh, or would I not have this conversation or stop talking if they walked in the room? Would I want them to know that I'm being an audience to or sharing this with somebody else? The answer to that question is no, and you know it's no because you're gossiping about somebody. Don't do it. Number two, and this is where it takes more courage to do this, and I know this is hard to do, but like this is important to do, is to ask the person who's coming to you to be like, hey, guess what I heard, or blah, 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 like to stop them and be like, hold on, time out. Would that person want me to know this? Would that person like be okay with you telling me this? Would they be okay with me hearing this or knowing this information? This can be uncomfortable, especially if the person who's coming to you is someone who loves gossip because nobody likes to be called on their shit. And like, this is calling somebody on their shit because this is like, would this person want me to know this thing? Like, do you have permission to share this with me? Like, is this any of my business? Uh, and if it's not, and like anything other than a yes is a no in this situation to be like, mm, I don't want to hear it. Like, I don't need to hear it. I don't want you to share it with me. I don't need to know this thing about that person. I, I just, I'm not interested in hearing it. And number three, this is the hardest to do, especially if you're somebody who has loved gossip and you love gossip in your life and it like gives you some sort of like thrill by setting fires and creating drama. And that is to ask somebody not to share something with you. This is the language that I'll use with someone, which is like, this might be uncomfortable, but I actually don't want you to tell me this thing. I don't need to know it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm not interested in like that person's relationship or what happened or what they said about their boss. I actually don't want you to share that with me. Which again, the person who you're saying that to, if they love gossip, they're going to be like, arr, arr, arr. that's them feeling like highlighted for the fact that like this is not an okay thing to do. Really important to do that and like to start having the courage in your life to shut down gossip and just be like, you know, it's like I just I'm not available for that. It's I don't think it's any of my business. I actually just don't want to hear that thing. Really hard for me personally to like get to a place but that's what I do, that's how I respond to people, but it also feels great. Like there are lots of conversations that someone's come to me to be like, oh, guess what? And I'm like, actually, I don't wanna know. I don't, 
I don't want to harbor that. I don't need to know that about this person. It doesn't affect me. It's something like in their personal lives or that has nothing to do with me. Final point I want to make about this is kind of a metaphor. I love metaphors. I love visual metaphors because I'm a visual person, but I think gossip is being an arsonist. You are literally going and lighting fires in other people's lives about other people. It's like you're going and setting fires <laughs> to cause people to like make people look bad or it's like to bond with somebody else. There's only like a couple reasons in the world that people gossip. One is because like they're addicted to it. It feels good. It's drama. And some people love drama. Um, but to make somebody else look bad or to bond and connect with somebody else over like, oh, who uses this thing? It's like you build trust or rapport with somebody else by trashing someone else, which is really shitty behavior. Relationships and connections that you have with other people shouldn't be built on that. It's not like healthy. Don't be an arsonist. Don't set fires. Also, it is a burden to harbor secrets of other people. And like in your friend group with the people that you work with, it's like you don't need to know about things going on in their lives. All of us have all kinds of things going on in our lives. And pretty much all of those things are nobody else's business. It's really, really lovely and freeing to be like, I don't want to hear that. I don't need to know that. It's none of my business. And just like carry on and focus, like having your hands full of your own life and like your own problems and your own drama and deal with that first. Um, cool. That's what I want to say. Possibly banana. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly banana. It's a club hit, dog. It's huge in Europe right now. Yeah, the song is, it's been blowing up. It's been staying on the charts in the club. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we have our weekly email list, The Culture Drop. You can subscribe to that and get these emails right in your inbox. Follow our social media channels. Uh, put out a lot of free content around being more awesome and building great teams.